Hey guys, show you vlog number 64. 44,000 miles, 22 months in, follow up and a quick spring episode. So let's go. So for those asking, I did bring the car in, had it fixed in episode number 63. Uh, they switched out this transmission control module. The reason why I have it in hand is because I paid it out. It was out of warranty and I had to pay out of pocket. So talked to GM and talked to um, Chevy and the representative said no can do that we're not giving you any money for this. It's out of warranty. It's out of the 36,000 um, mile warranty. So if you have experienced this issue of shifting a park and not registering, it's probably this thing and have it fixed immediately while it's still under warranty because apparently they don't really care about the car California carb um, transmission control module that was stated in their warranty book. Uh, even though I sent the warranty book to them and also the same, you know, uh, item that uh, was mentioned that was replaced, which is this thing. So either they got their terminology wrong or something else, but am I happy about this? Not really. Uh, what they did do was basically give me like a hundred dollar voucher, which I'll probably use for a tire alignment. I'm guessing because that's probably how much it costs for a tire alignment at a dealership because I like doing my own oil changes because I did my own change about a couple of weeks ago at 40,000 miles. Anywho, that being said and done, in Long Beach, there was a Toyota Grand Prix, which is pretty awesome because they allow people to bike and ride and walk on the on the track before the actual race. The race was pretty awesome with all the F1 uh, cars. Also, in Southern California and California, there is spring flowers popping up everywhere. So lots of orange, yellow, and blues popping up along the hills, beautiful coastlines. Very, very cool to take the Chevy out and just drive and do the nice summer drives out. Or no, I'm sorry, spring drive. Uh, out and just take a look at flowers and you know beautiful beautiful landscapes and that's why we live in california also in california are some of the newer shops that are popping up in uh, the urban areas and this one was really good ice cream this is actually a really pricey ice cream too uh, it's called salt and straw i tried it once and tried it the second time this is really good ice cream not exactly a thrifty stuff like the dollar ice cream anymore but it's really good ice cream that's handmade um did a lot of spring cleaning as well Grabbed all this stuff and basically dumped it into my Chevy Vote into big bags and donated it to uh, the donation Salvation Army Goodwill and just basically had that taken care of, which is nice. Glad to fit in a vote. Another thing that happened with the vote in the past month is that my glove box actually fell off. It's because of this little pin that was there. It slipped off and I saw that it was a jar when I opened it and it closed back right, but it was like hanging about half a centimeter lower. So took the whole darn thing apart and fixed that little pin that fell out. It, it was actually just in um, right next to the door. And it's like, okay, it slid out. There's no friction or anything to stop this thing or even a cotter pin or something to stop that. So now it works, it fits back to normal. It dropped on that edge. To take this off, it's just like taking off the um, changing air filter for this car. You have to take off all four of those or five of those bolts and even the ones on the side and remove this whole canopy out and then replace it. I'll probably post a video later of it. I'm just so glad, you know, I'm a self-starter and just get these things done. Um, I still love the Chevy Volt. You know, it's been an awesome car, but I'm not gonna let these little small things, you know, stop me from enjoying the car and enjoying li my lifestyle and just, you know, saving the planet at the same time and driving a little faster than normal. Anyways, guys, for more unboxing videos and fun stuff, I'm gonna probably post more of that later. Please like, subscribe, and other stuff for the Chevy Vote Vlog. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.